quick start guide for Plugin Alliance's BetterMaker EQ232D. If you've never used this before, the interface can be a little bit confusing. So we're just going to break it down so you can get working with it and not have to fumble around to figure out what's going on. So up at the top, we have the option to either link it or unlink it. If we're unlinked, we'll be controlling the left and the right channels independently. So it's basically a duplicate, one on the left, one on the right. If we're linked, it's going to adjust these parameters for both sides, left and right. We could also alternatively go into the mid-side matrix if we wanted to do that. And again, unlink so that we can be changing what we're doing in the mids to the sides. If you want to start from the same place, let's say that you're unlinked and you make some adjustments to the mid and then you want to copy those settings over to the side you would do that by clicking this button here or clicking this button here if the inverse is true copy the settings from the side back over to the mids before you go and you adjust any further if you are just working in link mode you can actually just go ahead and close this up a little bit so you're only looking at one of these and then it's nowhere near as overwhelming so we will be doing the same things to the left side as we're doing to the right side let's get some audio in and start to look at these different curves and features. All right, we'll just pretty much go through everything from left to right. We have a global on off bypass button like you see in pretty much every plugin. And then we have individual bypass buttons for the various sections. And we'll start with our high pass filter. So with this plugin, once you click something and start to drag it, it will automatically turn it on. So we'll see that go red and we now have our high pass filter. So whatever you touch or whatever you hover over, that is what the display is gonna be over here. So we can see that I'm getting to see the frequency selector. So let's say I wanna set this around 60. There we go. I can either turn it on and off from here or just specifically the high pass filter. Moving on to the EQs, the only difference between these is the frequency range. So our top one goes from 45 up to 1K, our bottom one goes 650 up to 15K, and it works like any traditional parametric bell shape EQ. So with EQ1, let's go ahead and put a boost, I don't know, around, let's say 100 Hertz. So let's get about 3 dB of gain here, dial in around 100 Hertz. And then we can adjust the sharpness or the wideness of the band. Wider or sharper, depending on the task. And then with EQ2, let's maybe do a boost around 5K. And that is pretty much right in the middle. So you can see now with this output selector, it's showing us 5K, not like five, you know, Hertz. And we can do the same thing. Let's make this one as wide as we can. And there you go, a very pleasing kind of passive-y sound to this whole thing. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn off all of these ones just so that we can go over into this passive EQ section. Works very much like a Paltec on steroids. You have an automatic boost and attenuator, another boost and attenuator, and then a bandwidth that's very much related to the high frequency boost that you set up. So let's start by picking, let's say 60 Hertz. We're gonna add a nice boost and you can see that it's created a shelf. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little bit of a dip right after. So this is a common Poltec trick. Now notice with this one, the attenuation or the bandwidth, I should say, has absolutely no effect on this lower one. But if we jump up through the frequencies, we can see how that moves. All right, so that is how the low frequency works. Now we'll look at the high frequency. So we're gonna add in a little bit of a boost somewhere. And this is where our bandwidth plays a very critical and interesting role on how the sound gets shaped. So now we are going from sharp to broad, which is true across the whole plugin. So we can choose different frequencies. So let's actually set this at, yeah, let's set it at 3K for this example. And then we can set up an attenuation. So we can either go at 20K, 10K, or 5K. We're gonna choose 5K just because it's gonna be more obvious for us to see it. In a very interesting and smooth and silky response. You can see it almost looks like a filter.
but again, our bandwidth is very much tied to the high frequency boost. So now on and off. And that's your quick start guide to the BetterMaker EQ. If you want to, you can of course work with this thing in mid side mode, unlink, and then you have your mid here, your side here. Or if you wanna work left and right, but not linked, again, you turn link off, you have your left and then you have your right channel. So there you have it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how this thing works and you can start using it in your productions right away.